Hello guys and welcome to another video from the Inspiration College. Now guys, for those of you who have the A to Z SEO tool script, uh, what I'm going to do, because I've been asked that question, how do I add the blog section to my SEO tools? Now guys, first of all, you have to purchase the, the tool. So if you go to, like if I should go to um, uh, the tool website, uh, just to show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see guys you have the, the blog section here so in order for you to have this feature you have to purchase it and if you click on it then you will see so you have a number of blogs here and if we open one of them then that's how it would be looking and this is good for you to have this feature because what this does it helps you to be able to rank this tool script in Google so you know you have to write content for Google to even give you Google Adsense and I did a video where I showed you how I managed to have my AdSense um, ads on this site because this is um, a subdomain of my main domain and my main domain has um, Google AdSense already that's my blog so I just use a subdomain which when you have a subdomain of your main domain and your main domain has um, already been approved for Google AdSense then automatically all your subdomains would be able to have google adsense on it so that's how i managed to get mine but if you are starting in if you are starting out new and you don't have like a, your main domain which is already approved for google adwords uh, not adwords adsense then you have to really write content and i mean content that people are searching so that you will be able to rank in uh, google first page or page one and then also you need to have traffic coming to your site so if we go back to the seo tool as you can see guys like now i have uh users online six that's included myself so you have five users and then i would make make it the six users so today's page view already is 26 and as you can see 17 unique visitors so i have people visiting this site and using the tools and as you can see you have um here you can see uh, the different countries like here it's all uh, United States and you can see uh, the, the, the script or the tools that people are using email privacy redirect checker YouTube thumbnail downloader so you can see the tools that they are checking you can also see over here the number of users that that you know have been registered and for this uh, what I did I set it at 20 uh let me just quickly go inside here um even though this is not really what i want to show you but let me just quickly show you what i'm talking about because i know people are going to ask that question so if you go into like users and you go to like settings so guys this is where you can limit your visitors so here i have 10 uh, at first I had 20 now I have 10 so what this means is that you can set the number of times a guest can uh, use your tools and when they use your tools for um, 10 times then the 11th time that they're going to use it then they would have to log in it would force them to log in so you can use you can set any number you want but if you really want to you know have their email address and for them to log into the system like if i go here you can see where it says login here or they would have to create an account so they would have to sign up with either facebook um, google or twitter and then they create an account there so when they want to use your tool so if they want to use any of these tools then when they click on it the system will force them to sign in so that's how you can collect email address and then you could market your products to those people who are using your tools uh, so if we go back to this uh, so i showed you this but what i really want to look at is a blog section and so in order for you to get this blog feature you would have to go to add-ons and if you click on this then what you need to do you need to go to shop for add-on and then it would take you to the shop add-ons control panel and here you have a list of products guys that you can purchase and you can add them to your tool script 
you have a whole lot um, uh, over I think it's over 100 tools uh, so what we are interested in is number four which is a blog add-on and as you can see it's for eight dollars so all you need to do is either click on details to get more information or you could just click buy it now so if we click on details it would take us to the page where we can make purchase obviously I have it already so I'm not going to purchase it again and as you can see here the blog add-on and it's for eight dollars so you can add to cart and then here you have some more information you can just read up on this and then you even have um, this demo which shows you how the blog section would be looking of course I just showed you mine so you you can click on this and look at it if you want and then the requirements you need your PHP script it should be a um, version 1.0 or the latest version and the latest version of this I think it's 3.5 so that's all you need and when you make purchase you just need to follow the instruction so when you add to cart like here I'm not going to do it but when you add to cart then you just need to follow the instructions and then when you make purchase when the developer receive the money then they would have your download link so all you need to do is just download it and then when you're going to install it then all you need to do is go to um, let me see if I can find it again install add-ons and all you need to do is just choose the file so of course you would have downloaded the file on your desktop so all you need to do is just search for the file that you have downloaded open it and then upload it so after you upload it then all you need to do is come back to your site and you would refresh um, obviously you click to refresh you know should know how to do that um, so you would actually refresh and then you would have the blog feature here and guys as you can see we now have eight users online 32 page views today uh, so i'm going to do another video where uh, we'll talk to you about how you can really monetize this because now that you have visitors coming to the you know to your tool site you can and they are using the free tools already you can monetize this uh, so I'm going to do a video to show you how you can actually do it because um, you don't want them to just be using tools for free and then you know they're not um, you're not making any money from it so that's really how you would do the blog section and if you click on it you would see like if you want to first you have to do your blog setting so you click on that and this is where you would have the settings so as you can see blog status I've enabled mine so you have um, this drop down you can disable this or you can enable and what you need to do meta description you need to just have a little description here like for mine I'm saying complete SEO tips for optimizing your web content and then here enable comments you would have yes you can also have no but here I have yes you can also have your keywords so SEO tips ticks and um, this is called like um, this is just this truncated um, length you can set it to whatever you want so if you actually go back to like this this is what it's actually talking about this bit here so you just see um, some amount of information and then you have to have read more here so you can set it at whichever number you want I set mine at 400 so that's why you see this bit but you can actually set yours higher and then you have the default featured image which would be which would be this and um, where is it now and then you just continue to fill these out maximum number of posts shown on on each page would be five so if you go back to here as you can see one two three four five so you can set yours like four or three however you want to do that so that's basically what it is and then enable related posts yes or you could have no then default posted by admin and then guys this is just um the, the um this section here is like for comments so you'd have to create this like i'm using um this quest i can't even pronounce it um so the comment section would actually be let me just go into one of the blogs so as you see the comment section down here so this bit here this section here is actually what you're seeing here you have to get the code for this so as you can see that's the code um, you have to sign up with this um, this organization really so that's how I managed to get this code 
and again here you have these are default stuff default image and then related post you can set it again at however you want and you remember to save so that's the blog setting and if you want to create um, a new blog then all you need to do is click on this you will see create blog here then you give it the title then you give it the URL then meta description again feature image you have to upload that and then it's normally going to be unpublished so you can unpublish or you can publish and um, you want all users to access your blog you could only have like registered users but of course you're going to want to have all users access your blog and then the language of course um, I've added languages on my blog here I should just put English only really because I just leave it like that you can see I add some languages here um, so you have different languages here yeah so I've added those languages uh, so that's really what it is and to write your blog you can start writing you can start typing or if you for if you um, copy and paste then you would do the same thing copy and paste and what I did was I increased the font size of my blog so that's why you know you would be able to see um, the font size of a blog so readable because the system gives this fine lettering which is a bit difficult to read so that's why I have mine like this uh, so that's really what it is guys uh, so for those of you who have been asking me how to get the blog you have to first purchase it and this is how you would do it and then you want to manage your blogs as you can see guys these are all the blogs I have so far and you can see the page views so you notice people are viewing the blogs you can see them here and um, you have your category the date that these blogs were written and the status is published so you can go inside here and you can edit the blog post if you want you can delete it here you can view it here so that's really how you manage your blog so you can always go in and edit blog so that's all there is to it uh, so I hope you did learn something from this video and if you like this video just give it a like also subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to tell me what you think and if you want me to do anything um, concerning the A to Z SEO tools then you can leave it in the comment that would give me an idea of what kind of videos I need to create so thanks again for watching and catch you in another video